Thank you so much. It's dead. Just put it on the charger, bro. The battery's dead. If you're breathing, you're achieving. Put it on the charger. You might as well take the trash can in. You try it like you Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. How's your day going? If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications so you get notified every time I post another video. Whoa, that was really shaky. And make sure to like. See the house by the lake is for the kids and the wife I be up in my price, golden nuggets shooting dice Yeah, that lucky getting money, know you see me looking nice Watch this full of ice Good morning, Lou Channel TV We are up early in the morning We came to Coco um, That's what it's called Say Coco? Coco mm -hmm. um, And they have crepes, waffles, coffee It smelled delicious when you walked in This is our first time here We are at Vintage Park literally right behind the El Tiempo so I'm excited because this is the first time ever that I've ate a crate and um, type in the comments and let me know uh, down below if you've ever ate a crate but yeah I'm, I'm so excited because it's my first time eating a crate and I didn't get a sweet one but I'm gonna share with Lucky we he got a banana froster one and then we also got like a chicken a chicken we got a chicken and something crate so, I'm excited for that. What's a and crepe? Then after this, you'll see. And then after this, um, I'm thinking that we're going to go to Fiesta. Because I want to surprise him with some sopes tonight. Because he told me he's never tried sopes. So, I was like, hold up. Hold up, baby. Hold up. I'm going to hook you up. So, I'm thinking tonight I'm going to be making sopes. Hopefully, um, you know, I don't mess it up. And yeah, we're gonna wait on our food and be back with ya. Yeah. I know what I'm doing, Leah. I got one too. I got one too. Yeah, I'm gonna eat some of that too, babe. Y'all, yeah, so this is the chicken and spinach that I was saying we got. And then that's the banana froster. Foster. Foster. Turns out Gigi didn't like her waffles, so Lucky's eating her waffles. He didn't like his uh, chicken and mushroom and spinach, whatever crepe. Leah is over here almost done with her food, and I actually ate my food. Well, I picked at it because there was a lot of mushrooms in it. Y'all didn't like it? What? It, I like the body wasn't cooked on the inside. It was just like. Yeah. What about you, Leah? I like this, but my stomach hurts. I'm gonna give them a two, just because I don't want to be mean and give them a one. <laughs> it wasn't all that. I give um, them a two too. The banana Foster, whatever the hell it's called, it was delicious. But the chicken and mushroom with. 
spinach was not what you know it's french food we don't like french food my taste like my palate yeah it was just not for us because that thing was full of mushrooms and i don't know it wasn't too it, it wasn't too enough chicken there wasn't enough chicken in it um but hold on let's take a moment to appreciate i'm wearing daddy's shirt this is lucky shirt but i wanted to wear it today outfit of the day and let's go yo is my eyelash off all right you guys so like i was saying we are gonna head to fiesta and i just think it's such a shame that in our neighborhood or in our area they, like we literally have to drive a good 30 minutes to get to the nearest fiesta like where my mom lives of course the hood is literally like the next like literally like the next block so i'm not used to this and when lucky woke up this morning saying that he was gonna take me to fiesta to get everything that i need i didn't realize that we had to drive this car to go get some you know what i'm saying what is it called some um latin american you could have got it from la michicana Latin American store. Yeah, I could have, but I don't know. You the one said Fiesta. Yeah, I wanted to go to Fiesta because I like their seafood department. Yeah, they have a lot more to offer at Fiesta, so that's kind of why we didn't go to Michoacana. Literally, Michoacana is like the only Latin American store that we have near us. But we're heading that way right now, and we'll check in back with y'all whenever we get to your all right, so as you can see, we have arrived and we're gonna be doing some light grocery shopping. I just wanna say I haven't been drinking soda since July 10th. I haven't drank no soda and I'm feeding for it. It's barely the 15th or the 16th. That's six days. Um, anyways, um, we are at Fiesta. What's the password? Mom's the best. <laughs> Come on, babe. Two hundred dollars. We got a lot of food. We could never in our lives do that at HEB. So shout out to Fiesta for coming through. I just wanted to let y'all know Kelly's jeans lips are real. Those are real voluptuous lips. Somebody in the comments talking about why did she go and put the in lip injections in her lips? Yeah, y'all Those ain't lip injections, call, man. This what you call lip liner and lip gloss and look. My lip goes up naturally. It's always been like that. <laughs> Houston got the 
stay in there and live. <laughs> he was born like that too. Danny. Ooh. Ooh. Shirt by Burberry if you did not know. <laughs> what songs y'all want to see me perform in Dallas, Texas this Saturday? Type in the comments, let me know. If you're coming to the concert Saturday night, let me know what songs you want to see me perform. I got so many songs, man. I probably done recorded over a thousand songs. So when it's time to do a show, it's hard to pick which songs to record because I only got like, you know, 20, 30 minutes on stage. So I got to crunch a bunch of little songs into that time frame. So you let me know what songs you want to see me perform this Saturday at Club Radius in Dallas, Texas. Already. What's up, little man? So I am in the middle of making lunch. Lucky wanted some fried shrimp. So here I am making fried shrimp once again. Um, I'm still not done. I still have a whole bunch of shrimp I have to make. Oh. You're so rude. What if I would have burnt myself? Sorry, baby. I'm sorry, baby. You're right. That fire's too high. It's going to burn it on the outside and not cook it on the inside of the fire too high. A little tip on frying shrimp. So I'm gonna just go ahead and finish frying the shrimp and then we're gonna sit down and eat. Oh, can I have one of these? Go ahead. Squeeze Don't them. eat all of them. I'll squeeze the lemon. You better know what you're doing. All right, so shrimp is done and it is A1. We got the lemon on the side. I got my spicy ketchup. I'm about to dip them in. Oh, wait, ketchup and shrimp? Okay, buddy. <laughs> I never tasted that though. And you're gonna wash your hands before you come digging them dirty fingers in this shrimp, boy. It's, it's called a belly button touch. That's disgusting. Shrimp. Uh oh. Uh oh. You gotta get the dish soap and then I'm here to go. I was doing a two step. I mean the get up. Alright, we'll be back with y'all in a minute. Blue. That's red. That's red. Rojo. Rojo. So I'm currently trying to take baby Houston out of the bath and she <coughs> does not want to get out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. Houston. Houston, come on. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> come on, let's go. What the? What was that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, Loki oh. walked out and he's like. <laughs> I was reading a comment on our YouTube video and saying, can you and Kelly speak on revenge? Stun on him. The best way to get revenge is to focus on your goals and hustle to get what you want because massive success is the best revenge. Going and trying to hurt somebody who did you wrong is only going to end up hurting yourself. Karma is real, you guys. What goes around comes around, so it is not your job to go ahead and do 
what has been done to you to whoever has done it to you. The universe, oh, the universe will take care of that for you. Come here, little boy. So, I got a DM today saying this. It's from at Millie Does Makeup. Shout out to her and her fiance, I Swang. Me and my fiance always watch y'all videos. So first thing I wanted to ask, if you please give me and him a shout out. There go your shout out. His Insta is I Swang. You're his favorite rapper and he'd love to meet you one day. But my question was, how do you guys get back up when you feel down and discouraged? I'm trying to start a YouTube channel with vlogs and makeup, but sometimes I get really discouraged because I feel like I don't have a lot of support and don't know really know what I'm doing. Any response would be appreciated and we love you guys. Well, first let me start by saying this. A lot of times we don't be knowing what we doing either on this uh, channel either. We just turn the camera on and press record. Really, it's y'all, the fans and the viewers that come up with the content like you just did right now by sending me this you just gave me something to talk about you know what i'm saying so i would just focus on your fans even if you only got one or two people on your comments if you got like one view or one person is you just keep making videos for that one person that's what i would focus on that just stick to your core audience as long as you got one person in your comments you keep making videos for that one person you know what i'm saying and don't worry about other channels that are getting a lot more views than you or worry about other channels because they they have a way bigger audience than you don't focus on that just focus on you just keep doing you and keep being consistent and keep putting out content for your true fans kind of build a little relationship with your true fans you know what i'm saying and you can you'll know what they want and what they don't want what they like and what they don't like that's all that's the best advice i can give you is just stay consistent and keep doing it don't get discouraged even if it takes a long time i've had this youtube channel since 2015 you know what i'm saying and it really didn't start popping off till like 2017 so it takes time it ain't gonna happen overnight but if you stay consistent you stay down and dirty you get to where you want to be you know what i'm saying so best of luck to y'all with y'all channel and y'all vlog and um appreciate y'all for watching man y'all type in the comments and let me know should we put a little houston in daycare because everybody acting like they had enough of little houston you don't want to play you want to watch tv i want to watch tv and play do you hear that no she, uh, no. So you're saying never help. So you're saying you don't want to play with King, your brother. You just want to no, watch TV. Kingston. Kingston. <laughs> you me. I'm so sorry. No. I'm sorry. Okay, but y'all, you see what y'all are doing right now? Y'all are arguing instead of y'all were supposed to be playing with him. But these are his toys. So I'm trying to give it to him. But I'm I'm, I'm trying to neither play one play. of y'all are playing with him. Here you go, Papa. Stop, Leah. I'm just getting this for him. I need to put y'all two in daycare. I'm this for him. No, I, I give these to I'm, him. I'm building this to him. Go. Kingston, I want to give me it. To See, y'all remember when I said I wasn't doing no shows no more? But this is why y'all can come see me live in Dallas this Saturday. Because me and Mama need a little getaway time. Look like you know what you're doing over here. You're gonna put some chicken and some cheese and everything else up in there? Kingston! He's trying to grab him and she's taking him away from him. He ain't crying with her. He was crying with you. Okay, now, now leave him alone. No. It's keeping him occupied though, right? He's not crying no more. It's because he likes it when you stack them all up together so he can tear them apart. How? Kingston, have you took a shower today? No. Go wash your <laughs> Go! He missed You're doing great, Leah, Leah. Did you 
I got some Gucci on your feet. With no socks. That's how you feeling? Baby, I got my little. Oh. Okay. Don't zoom me. Don't try and zoom me. Ooh -wee. What y'all think? What it's looking like? Okay, first step. The first layer is beans. These are my uh, charo beans. beans. They were left over from yesterday. Then I added some chicken. And then I added a little swirls of sour cream and then some lettuce and then I mix queso fresco and aguacate. Mmm. Mmm. That tastes delicious. Delicious. One out of five. Five. Y'all need to try these. I don't even know. Sope. Sope. A five. A five. Gigi's not next. Five out of five. I want to give a shout out to Kelly Jean. She's been on her feet all day. She made some fried shrimp today. She made us some sopes today. She went grocery shopping. She picked up, all, put up all the groceries. She made uh, Gigi a grilled cheese. She washed all the dishes. And now she's putting Houston to sleep. That's a real woman right there. So shout out to her. I'm finna go edit this video and I'll see y'all when I see y'all. It's time for the money.